What's up everybody? What's up everybody and how are you guys doing? So R&B pop singer Chris Brown had a seizure. Now no clear details have come out as of yet. Um, I checked the story earlier. All it says was allegedly there was no, you know, there was no interview from Chris. There hasn't, I haven't seen anything come out from any of his management or any statements that I've seen. But so allegedly we're going to say that he has a seizure. I don't know for sure. Now, the funniest part to me is looking at the trending topic, Pray for Chris, and seeing the grown people from all across the United States tweet just stupid shit. He had a seizure. Oh, I hope he dies. He had a seizure. Maybe he won't come back. Me personally, I wouldn't wish death on my worst enemy. Honestly, I don't have room in my heart to sit around and hate people. It, it, I just don't have that much time to worry about the lives of someone else. But what's really sad is this is a man that most people who are talking shit about him don't even know him. Have never met him. I can see if he came to your house and broke into your shit. And then I'd be like, all right, you're justified. But this dude had a fight with another fucking celebrity years ago. His girlfriend, you don't know what happened in that fucking car. I don't know what happened in that car. Now, of course, he will be fucking remorseful because, you know, it, it, it'll get his jail sentence lessened. But I don't fucking believe in that bullshit. Oh, that's a woman. You're not supposed to hit a woman. No, I don't believe in violence, period. But you can't tell me out of one side of your mouth that a woman is equal to me and then out of another side of your mouth tell me that she's not. It doesn't work like that. Fuck you, society. All right? Do you know how silly your big grown ass looks sitting at the house wishing death on a person you never met before? I can see if this dude was a terrorist. I can see if he was some fucking oppressive dictator that has fucking oppressed millions of people and killed people by slaughter in some weird country. Yeah, okay, alright. Yeah, this motherfucker's a tyrant. This guy is a pop singer. A pop singer, take that in, take that in and breathe with me. Pop singer, he is an entertainer. You don't know him. You wishing death on him, you know how stupid you sound? Do you know how silly your big grown ass looks sitting on Twitter tweeting death messages to some guy you never met before? You look pathetic as hell. You look like a pathetic loser, seriously. But anyway, I digress. Um, I'm hoping that this isn't a reaction to some drug. I'm hoping so. I don't understand the entertainment world, and I don't understand why the entertainment world does not get it. The general public, at least the smart ones, we understand. We can look from the outside and look in and say, listen, Michael Jackson died from drugs. Elvis Presley died from drugs. Whitney Houston died from drugs. Bobby Brown had his career of superstardom cut short by drugs. Uh, keep going. Fill in the blanks. So and so died from drugs. Blank blank died from drugs. Blank blank died from drugs. And you can just keep going. How many, just over the past 15 to 20 years, how many celebrities do you know have had their bouts with substance abuse? It gets to the point where these guys will have so much money till they will find themselves messing with drugs. And if you look at it, drugs have not worked out well for celebrities. Drugs have cut lives short and drugs have cut careers short. So you would think that the smart ones would look at it and say, you know what? Drugs is not the route for me. It's either going to end up two ways. Either I'm going to lose my life or my career or both. So I'm hoping that this was just some guys stressed out. He's fucking working too hard. I hope we don't find out that, yeah, he did have a seizure and it was because he was fucking with scissor or whatever. You know what I mean? Um... I don't like every song that Chris Brown makes. 
I don't like every decision that Chris Brown makes. But in the end of the day, this guy's a human. At the end of the day, as I've done countless times, I can't sit back and look at an individual like this who is going through some situation in his life and and try to push him down further. You know what I mean? Like I, I can't see someone having a seizure and wishing death on them. That's just that's just not in my nature. Some people some people online think that's funny. Some people think that's amusing. I think it's rather childish and stupid. But that's just my take on it. You go ahead and let me know how you feel.